Welcome to Go DIY Whitewood. We're doing a super fun project today for the guys over at Pretty in Pink Foundation. This project is so fun because we're working with a new piece from our line that's unfinished. Unfinished wood is easy peasy to work with. Now in saying that, you still have to prep your wood. There are going to be some rough areas and you want to open up that grain to accept the stain. So we're just gonna go over the whole piece with a 220 piece of sandpaper. Prep is the most important part of the whole project. It determines whether or not at the end something just looks beautiful or if it feels beautiful too. A professional piece looks and feels smooth and clean. So we're using three products here. General Finishes Ballet Pink Milk Paint, General Finishes Walnut Water Base Wood Stain, and General Finishes High Performance Top Coat. So we propped this guy up and just so that we can get all the way to the bottom of the legs. We first put on just one coat of the Ballet Pink. It's very welcoming and inviting and warm, and it's awesome for an accent piece. So since we've done that first coat of the Ballet Pink Milk Paint, we're going to move on to using our walnut stain to show the depth of the door and the drawer. We're gonna go ahead and just do the whole door and then come back with our blue shop towel and just kind of rub the stain into the wood a bit. We're not really trying to remove a lot of the stain, we're just trying to kind of get that stain into the wood. Now, here's where people don't really know the difference between staining and painting wood furniture especially when you're talking about raw unfinished wood so think of it like this when you stain a shirt or if you stain something in your home that is hard to get out it's it's seeped through the material whatever that material is now paint generally stays on the top of things so the great thing about stain is it's a lot more durable than paint. It's not ever gonna chip off. It's not ever gonna, you know, you might, you might get a scratch, but it's super easy to repair. That's kind of the difference between using a paint and a stain on furniture. Next, we're gonna move on to sanding. So we've put on a coat of the walnut stain and on the case piece, the, the body part of the piece, we put on that ballet milk paint. So now we need to go back with our 220, give everything a nice, good sanding. Once we've done that, we're gonna wipe everything down really, really well with our tack cloth. Again, as you're going through this process with the sanding, you wanna make sure to take your hand and rub it across all of the areas make sure everything is remaining smooth from one step to the next. Now in this piece we're doing sort of a fudged pickling or whitewash effect and the way we're going to do that is we're either going to wet our piece really well or what I'm showing here once we've taken that foam brush and dipped it into the milk paint I then literally dip the foam brush into water and just get it really, really watered down. Then I start applying it and I'm also using a damp paper towel to kind of keep that streaking effect. The farmhouse or rustic look is huge right now and especially on an accent piece can really be magnificent in a home. Pretty in Pink Foundation is based in North Carolina and they do some amazing work with women who have suffered from breast cancer. So if you want to check them out, go to prettyinpinkfoundation.org to find out more. They're having a pink pumps and bow ties home soiree where they are going to be auctioning off donated items. So that's what this guy right here is going to be. 
The right accent piece can be everything in a home. One, it can make the a space feel very complete and cohesive. And the other thing it can do is really just bring a space to life. So if you're in the market for an accent piece, no matter how big or small, we have absolutely got something for you. Just visit our site. You can even put in your, the dimensions of what you're looking for and it will populate choices that are just right for your home. And we sanded everything down again with our 220 grit sandpaper, wiped everything down with our tack cloth, and then applied our top coat. And voila, we're all done and beautiful. Thank you so, so much for joining us today. Subscribe to our channel now and don't miss a thing. And don't forget to look at Pretty in Pink and how you can get involved in their calls.